Hey guys, this is the Lost Year 45. I'm trying to record this off of YouTube. I couldn't find a download link to it, but I guess this is gonna have to be good enough for you guys. Um, kind of want to go over what we see in the E3 trailer of uh, Modern Warfare 3, and uh, give you guys some good tips for the campaign mode at least. Though they have confirmed that they will not be allowing the campaign mode to affect the multiplayer, but I'm pretty sure some of the guns you see will transition over. Hold on, let's go back a second here, guys. Let's go forward a tidbit, and then I'll pause it when I see the right side place. Okay, so you see the signature model for 3 intro. Okay, so right here you see your main character for America, apparently, will be Sergeant Derek Frost Westbrook. Uh, he'll be in Delta Force, and he's going to be in the New York Harbor. That automatically tells you some big information in the campaign mode because I for sure like to know who I'm going to play as. Because I like to make the lame joke Ramirez, because he got that $500, $500 million helicopter with a $500 million helicopter. So now I get to use Frost as a nice joke. What's he going to be? Icy underwater? Start the party without us. Over. Copy that. Almost For those of you who don't realize this, this is the Infinity Ward uh, creative director. I may be wrong about that. But uh, he's part of Infinity Ward, and I'm glad to see him again. I really do appreciate his hard work on the game. Nice fail, E3. Nice fail. So right there, we can clearly see right in this area, you can see uh, underwater craft. I am not sure what that is, but that does mean we get to have a lot of vehicles in this game. Because later on in the trailer, you will see a boat. And at another point in the trailer, you can see a helicopter. And uh, you also get to see a Reaper drone, which is a Predator drone. You will not see the Reaper drone in the helicopter in this video. But if you look at the other videos, the interview mission I had, you will find it. I will try to link that. I may not be able to, but I will try to. <laughs> so right there we see the first mission's objective is to plan the mine on the sub. That's going to be rather important, I guess, and I guess it's going to lead something on. I have already watched it, so I do already know what's going to happen, but I'll leave it up to surprise for those of you who haven't watched it yet. So clear right there, you can see it is indeed nicknamed Frost, and America is at war with Russia, war with Russia. As you can tell um, from previous games, we do know that Russia had declared war on us because of Makarov. Or not sure how much role Makarov is going to play now, because Shepard is dead, and Shepard was the main one who was going after Makarov. Um, basically now what else we know is that the Russians have planted mines in America. Which means they're pretty close. You gotta understand, you can't go planting mines in places that you have no relationship to. You gotta be able to have dive underwater and done proper layout. Otherwise, you're gonna blow yourself up by planting them. So, right there, we see if you look at the upper corner, left hand, right hand corner, right hand corner, 
of his sonar that does blink to warn your other minds. This is going to be useful for those of you who do play campaign mode. Uh, there's a tip for you guys before the campaign even comes out. In the interest of time, guys, I am going to have to speed this up to the part where the submarine comes in because uh, we uh, only get 15 minutes on YouTube. So here's the submarine. You can see the Jekyll 8 plant from my on it. And I um, can also see there is a sonar red line for the submarine. Mine's ready. Uh, the objective is to reach the missile control room, which means we will probably be invading the submarine. Because you guys can clearly tell this is going to blow millions of pieces, I'm sorry, I will link this in the description, but I do want to speed up so that we do have the full 15 minutes to talk about a little bit of what we are seeing. So I am going to probably squeeze up right to where we enter the submarine. You can see a little bit of flashes here. Um, I kind of want to let you guys see a glimpse of America, so I'm going to move it to right, nope, right there. So as you can see, America has been declared war on and everything isn't going too well for America. Let's see how we're going to come out of this struggle. Okay, so right away we see that we do have an AK-47 new in our hand. Uh, that is trademarked because of the hunched gun line right there. The red dot side is in the same frame as the AK-47U. There is the clip right here, actually the signature to the AK-47U, if you can tell. And the little bump right there gives the iron sights that you do know on the AK-47U. Um, my guess is about 95% sure this is an AK-47U. And you'll also see later in this that there is another AK-47U on the ground. Clearly symbolizing AK-47U is probably going to be back. And it is a big favorite. And Sledgehammer did say they wanted the favorite to be back. So right here we can see our second character is Sandman. Uh, in the other trailer we got to watch with the laser lock on Noob Tube, uh, you did see that Sandman is indeed back again in that one. So Sandman is clearly in the main character. So right there we can see I was right about the AK-47U being back. That is an AK-47U and once again I will repeat you do see that signature slope on the icon and the handbar that goes on your shoulder. Um, I'm going to speed this up. I will tell you guys right now. In the trailer you see the G-18, the AK-47U and the P-90. Um, once again Sledgehammer has said that they will not be incorporating multiplayer with a single player campaign. So we're not sure whether these guns will transfer over. I really hope the AK-47U, the P90, and the G18 are in the game. They're amazing guns if you know how to work them well enough and you're not a noob and go bursting around with them. Um, so let's go ahead and skip ahead to the second new thing, which is the second new gun in entering a control room. I do repeat, I am sorry guys, I know you want to see this. Um, but you'll have to watch the full version by yourself and I will try my hardest to get the two links for you guys. nice explosion there signature call of duty uh, cut time no yeah slow time cutscene uh, right here you can see a second new gun at first I thought this was an AA fire hose but it does not appear to be because it does have magnificent range and uh, it does seem to actually be pretty good I think it may be a fall I'm not sure I'm not gonna go relying on any thing maybe even a new gun um, we'll see when that campaign will comes but otherwise Keep an eye on the gun and how it fires, and get your opinion to judge about it. Yeah. 
see from the iron sights, you can tell it does have the M69 iron sights in the fall iron sights. Um, it is a single fire gun, which is like the fall, which is what led me to my opinion. But once again, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not sure what gun it is. There we see the G18 and just wanna point that out for you guys. So there you can see they are firing missiles. Um, considering that they're so close to America, I would assume they're firing them at America, which could leave a very negative influence. I'm repeating, I am not sure where they are firing the missiles. It may be at a foreign thing. It may be to actually self destruct the ship sub, or maybe for enemy ships that the enemies can't detect because they are Russian missiles. I am not sure, guys. I'm not going to judge any conclusions. But I am going to speed you guys up a tidbit. Basically, all he does here is climb the ladder and get out of the sub and get it on a boat. So as you can see, he's on the boat a little bit, he's uh, cruising through, and uh, nothing really much. You do get to see some more of the America's damage, which is a key thing. As you can see, it looks a tidbit bit like 9-11, if you uh, were regretfully uh, part of that situation or had to view that. But uh, it does look pretty bad. The graphics, though, do look amazing. I will give my hands up to Infinity Ward again. Totally amazing job. I was talking with a friend earlier who said that Black Ops had better graphics. I am not going to say that's the truth. I prefer my Warfare 2 graphics in the last D. So let's keep going with it. <laughs> Was it just me or did anybody else hate the boat scenes like Modern Warfare 2? It seemed like no matter what you do, Captain Price always got mad at you and you always said ended up failing. It may have just been me. Captain Price seemed to yell at me a tidbit too much. Basically, what they have provided with here is that there is a full-out war in America by the Russia, apparent by Russians, apparently. Um, you could hear the commander in the background saying, "Good work, team. You've done a good service to America today." Um, as you can see, there are big gaping holes in buildings. This one building right here has a complete see-through hole in it. Um, really pay attention to the background if you do watch the video. It is rather beautiful graphics for a horrific situation. Uh. Let's hope something like this never happens, because I would hate to see that kind of damage in America. There you go, guys. It's called Duty My Warfare 3 for you. I've gone through and displayed some of the basic facts. Got to go now. Remember to like, uh, slash just like, and comment if you do so kindly, please. And subscribe if you feel uh, obligated or pressured to. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I will link the two trailers for the Call of Duty in here. I repeat, Sledgehammer has said that they will not be in platform the multiplayer with the campaign modes guns. Though there is a lock on YouTube, which I would love to have in uh, multiplayer. Because, who wouldn't love to see that guy who goes, Oh my gosh, you're locked onto me with a YouTube, I hate you. I think that'd be pretty hilarious. But, once again, I'm just one of those pressure people. Have a nice day, guys. Tip my hat to you, and we'll see you next time.